Hello everybody, back again with this uh, surprise build. But first I'd like to welcome you as I go and get in on some actual R&D battle testing. These little turrets are actually tougher than I thought. I thought I was going to bowl right over them. But as I am starting up, I would like to thank you for joining me. I welcome you also. You know, I do appreciate the, the company and the support you guys have thrown all my way. Help fill in the tank is always awesome. And if you're just kind of new and you don't exactly know what I mean by filling the tank, it's easily done. Just with likes, comments, subscriptions, dinging of the bell. You know, it's all, all gonna get me some high mileage. And you know, it is, like I said, appreciated. Because the support you guys have brought and the feedback and all that it has been so helpful. That's why I thank you so much. And also, as I uh, <laughs> kind of just decimated that guy, <laughs> and as I kind of just run down the row here, I would like to remind you of the Solar Shokers, where your cool and original techs, maybe something like this or something different, who knows? They're all cool and original in their own little fashion, I find. But if you'd like a video for them, it could happen. All you got to do is find my uh, Saturday Showcase Auditions link down in the description underneath this video. Follow it to the TerraTech forum. Post an in-game snapshot. You finally died. <laughs> or a save game, or both. With instructions if it's a complicated one. And I'll make the best damn video out of it I can. And I think we'll have a lot of fun doing it. Because that way we get to share our ideas. Maybe inspire others with some ideas. Who knows? Maybe we'll even get inspired ourselves. It's happened. It's happened to me quite a bit. <laughs> That's why I enjoy them. Because your ideas could give me ideas, which could make me build something, which could give you ideas. It's like one of those awesome rotating situations. It doesn't ever have to stop. It's pretty cool, I think. And also, you know, if you'd like to maybe help support my little channel in an additional way, you could always go down to the description once again, and you can find my little paypal.me link. It's set up for $2 American. And if you can find it in your heart to throw the donation my way, your name will get thrown into a, a draw for a 3D printed tech. The guys that grab it, you've probably heard of them from playing the game. They're going to be the ones to make the tech, so you should know what you're getting. And you can go check out their site. I do have five pre-made techs there. Uh, crap, I didn't, didn't put the links in yet. Okay, well, they're there. They're the little ones. <laughs> but, that's just an option. If you do become the proud new owner of a 3D printed tech, you could either pick one of those five or just have $40 to spend. That's what the first one's worth unless I get some su enough support and then the prize can get bigger. That's just all I can afford. So if you're interested, it's all in the description. But now with this guy, he's pretty much getting finished. This is all just about testing and seeing what I've missed and I, I can see something I missed. Yeah, right where that cursor is. Should have put some missiles on there. And some guns. I don't know. I kind of like guns too. Like big guns. Big guns are cool. We'll start off with a couple extra missiles. And I think I'm gonna... Yeah, I do. I want some guns. I want some heavy guns. So I don't really have any heavy hitting guns. And now, since they're way up here, they are going to be limited as to what they can hit, but they'll work good for range. And the big heavy hitters, I like them for the range. They're good for softening up the target. <clears throat> now, when I get closer, if these ones can't hit it, that's even better, actually, because then all my little guns can just chew up everything and maybe not destroy it. Oh, with those skews in the front. If they were faster at picking stuff up, could save it. Even if it was flashing really fast red. Hey, there we go. 
Kind of looks like a weird set of Mickey Mouse ears. <laughs> you look at it right from the back. <coughs> yeah, that seems to be a nice little fit there. Takes away from the ball look of this thing. Now it looks a little more like an angle. <laughs> Not a lot. Like it. A little more. Oh, she's got the firepower. I like that. That's just a wall of hurt. Yeah, I got a little bit of everything on this one. I tried anyway. I didn't use a lot of the GSO weapons because, well, it just didn't seem fitting for this grade of a tech. Because it is using, like, a ton of Hawkeye. A little bit of Venture, but it's all high-grade weaponry. So I didn't really want to put any little machine guns and lasers and things like that on there. I think the lowest weapon, lowest grade weapon I put on was a Hawkeye weapon, which in the reality of the game is actually still pretty high grade since you have to go through pretty much most of the game just to get to it. <laughs> so I think this should be an effective tech. But I won't know until I get it out into my infinitely creative saves. Yes, I've made a new one. Even with the creative mode, it still doesn't do it for me. It's got no enemies. Or I didn't find them anyway. Or I don't know how to trigger them. One of the two. I just don't think there is any. Maybe there is now. I think the this update I think has now been put to the unstable. Maybe there's some more fixes. Actually, yeah, I heard there has been. Uh, uh, I kind of got looking on the forums. And the one good thing that I thought was going to be awesome may not be so awesome just yet is they were going to turn the physics off on the resources when they're in holding beams on conveyors, silos, things like that. Well, a little clip that I saw, someone, I hope they were complaining because it's not awesome, but the resources, I guess, will now pass directly through anything while they're in a holding beam or on, like, the conveyors. So... From the looks of it, we're not going to be able to knock them off conveyors anymore, so my useless machine just got a new frickin' hiccup. I just spent, oh, let's say, this whole time doing this, trying to figure out my ramp idea. So, resources could be knocked off conveyors, and then slide down a ramp, and then be picked up down below, and... Well, now, it might not be doable? I'm really thinking that's just caused by them just implementing it, and maybe not having the colliders activated or something. I really hope that's the case because if it's intended where resource chunks can pass through things just because they're in a holding beam, I really don't like that. I know it makes it easier. It makes takes the fun level up a little bit, but it takes the challenge level down a lot. And it takes the, the immersive properties of the whole thing. Oh, that was nice down a notch because I don't want to see a magic show I want to see something that looks believable but I don't want to have it kill my game either right like lag wise see originally I thought it would just be there's no weights to them there's nothing interacting with them like if there was a wind kind of thing or the bounce, or spinning, or things like that. But I figured the collisions would have still been active. So I'm hoping it comes back. If not, ouch. <laughs> but anyway, here's another bit of an ouch. It doesn't want to take them. Get in there. As always, the big Geocore blocks are always kind of a pain in the anus. As far as like trading stations and skews, and they've always been the ones. Oh, hiccups. They've always been the blocks that will be a problem if there is going to be a problem, just because of their overall size. But as you can see, they are getting pulled in. And there's still some tune ups I think should happen with the mobile skews, so we'll see how it goes. But now we get into some real testing. As you can see, by the uh, almost $700 million, this is my infinitely creative save for the newest of the updates. 
And yeah, my little guy, he did, he handles them rocks quite nicely, I do say so myself. Oh, got an enemy behind me. I'm going to shoot at a tree. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I come in here hoping to find some decent sized enemies because I want to see how it handles against something its own size. But I've been in here for a little while and I haven't really found a whole lot. Like, I think I shot that guy by accident, honestly, while I was clearing out stuff. That's kind of a, a downside to the missiles. <laughs> that if you don't see what you're an enemy that happens to be in that direction that you're shooting, you could destroy it and not even know he was there. Then you just happen along, hey, a pile of blocks. This was left from <laughs> a showcase that I was doing. I just kind of jumped back into the same save. There's a ton of stuff all through this. <coughs> but it works out pretty good because now I can do some cleanup and make sure this is going to work. Since I ain't finding no big text to blow up, really. I'll just do this. That's a, let's say an equivalent to a medium sized tech that I just cleaned up. And it seems to work pretty nice. I think a lot of the jumping and bouncing is actually being caused by resources trying to fight their way in. So yeah, there, there's kind of where the tricky part gets to is resources passing through things make that a lot better. You wouldn't get that issue. But then you can also knock them off. And they seem to be really hesitant on adding a dropper block. It's been asked for for so freaking long. Way longer than any hooks and trailer hitches, I think. But we still don't have one. I think it's an important one. Also, a twist conveyor block, I suggest to be important. Because I know we can just alternate and slowly turn the, the ordinary conveyors, but you know, it looks like mm, that, that was uh, me beeping out a swear word. Because it looked like crap. To have them just 90 degree each other. No, that don't look right. We need a twisted one. Let's get twisted. I think that'd look awesome. And maybe even like a, a nice corner. Like the square ones are fine and all that, but when, I don't know, when you see a real manufacturing plant, a lot of the time it's a rounded bend, not a square corner. It just looks more fluid. But that's just an aesthetics thing there. The twisted one, I think, would be a real big bonus. Not even just for aesthetics, but just for the common sense of it all. Because then new players are going to say, hey, that's what I need for that. Instead of just making an ugly turn of a, of a conveyor. Maybe that's just me being visually picky. But I think it's needed. Not as needed as that dropper block, but still need. And then you see here, there's only a very few spots on this tech that get hung up. And it's the far corners where those mini guns are usually. These trees, yeah, that's the top parts that are always the hardest thing to account for. Because I usually try and have a little bit of a wedge shape so the lower part can get at the base of the tree, no matter the angle I'm on. But this guy, he got a little more square-like than I usually do. Or usually like to. So I just got to do a little fancy driving here and there. Some slight adjustments from time to time, or you just blast the hell right out of them trees, make them into pulp. Either one will get you through. Oh, oh, that's what was screwing me up. Got someone else's wheel tagging along. There, let's see if I can get a jump going. And boost. Whee! Oh, maybe a little bit of air. I took out a tree and a rock and I knocked my dang gun off. So, so far, the most damage I've taken is just for me bashing through stuff. It looks like I've knocked a little more off. Three missiles and the little gun. Oh, and I run it right into a tree. Oh, oh, an enemy, enemy. Oh, let's see how we chew through this. Oh, not too bad, but why am I stuck? There's still a rock there? Oh, there was, yep. I see it was hiding. 
Oh, he ain't gonna last long. He's gonna last about that long. I'm not even interested in watching him blow up. It was too easy. Look at all the rocks out there. Man, I bet you that this thing could chew through them, but it'd take me a minute. I'm more interested in getting over to the to finding the battle. But it's not looking like I'm gonna find a good one. Because by this point, I've been out here for a while. And I know that it takes, I think, 15 minutes of being in the desert. So I'm probably going to hang out here as long as I can. And if I get an invader, that's going to be my next battle, I hope. If not, I don't know what I'll do. Yeah, it looks pretty full. That would explain why it's jumping around a wee bit. <laughs> so, yeah, that's quite, quite the good load he's got on there. But, couldn't find an invader. That was the biggest guy I could find, and that's how quick he went down. So I think I'm going to probably call this one right around in here. So, once again, you know, thanks for joining me. I hope you always feel welcome on my little channel here. And, you know, if you did like what you saw, feel free to help fuel my little channel. All it takes is some likes, comments, suggestions, and all that awesome stuff that you guys can only bring. And, you know, follow that with a subscription and maybe a dinging of the bell. I think the tank might just be full after such a thing. And if you happen to have some cool and original text, don't forget about the Saturday Showcase. Where you can have a video made for your cool and original text. All you gotta do is find my link for the Saturday Showcase auditions. Follow it to the thread on the forum. Post your in-game snapshots or save game or both. With instructions if they're needed. Oh man, I'm really taking a beating on this one. And I'll make the best damn video out of it I can. And if you'd like to try your luck and see if you can get your own 3D printed metal tech, you could always uh, help out with the Donation Appreciation Program. A $2 donation will get your name entered and you could be the new owner of that said tech. The guys that grab it, they do a hell of a good job making them. I think we'd all enjoy them. So until next time, everybody, keep being the awesome and keep having a good one. Bye.